Now, developing a response ability is fairly easy. I'd like to tell you, essentially, there's four things. Think, identify, core, find a question, ask a question. Tell you a little story. I was in court. There was this guy, Brian Lutz. Very intelligent man, Brian Lutz. Hi, Brian. He was being asked questions by the prosecutor, and his response for like four minutes And he wasn't just delaying. He was actively thinking every word. He was breaking down in his mind the definition, the assumption, the implication, every one. And he would identify within that question that he was asked, the core that the prosecutor was asking. He would then ask or find the question concerning how to clarify that core. He would then ask the question. The prosecutor didn't like it at all. He got real mad. Asked the judge, are you going to allow this? The judge was like, you're the one who brought him to court. You're asking him questions, the answers to which could land him in jail. I think he's being a very wise man taking his time to answer your questions, and he can take all the time he needs. That's the truth, too, especially in court, especially if you're dealing with people who are going to try to test you and to get you to react instead of respond. If you stop and you think about what their question is, and then you identify the core concern that their question is clearly um, uh, trying to address, even though they might not mention it, figure out what question will help you prove to them that you have identified that core and you're seeking the clarification of it. And then ask them a question. The fact that you have identified the core and that you are asking a question that does identify the core of the, the concern that they're coming at you with will to a large degree identify you as one who is capable of response. When I was keeping this uh, I, I was working for this after-hours club called Here on Earth, and I was talking to these three cops, and they were trying to, um, well, they were trying to poke me and see if I would react, and I was just properly responding the whole way. And the sergeant, he didn't like it, so he comes barreling up, and he's like, who's in charge here? And I thought about it for a moment. I identified the core. I looked at what the assumptions and the implications were, and I said to him, I said, well, with that question, we know it's not you. Now, at this point, all the little, all his officers, they started kind of laughing and chuckling. And he looks at him, gave him an angry look, and then he turns around. And I said, and since you're the one with the most stripes, we know it can't be any of them. Since it's after dark and uh, you're carrying guns and you haven't been called here as peace officers, don't you think you're trespassing? And it was by doing that that they saw that I was capable and that I had the ability to respond. Instead of just, ooh, who's in charge and answer his question? No, you don't just answer a question, nor do you make declaratory statements because they always lead to conflict. The goal is to always be asking questions. Now remember, folks, when it comes to the whole wide world, where's my pointy stick? It comes to the world, the master asks the questions, and the servant answers the questions. And your goal is to be the master. You do this by asking questions. And that brings us to your assignment for this lesson. And we are going to call it the question game. I found my stick. The question game, you, this is why we were, uh, when we were doing the serving of the soup, uh, we were asking you to hook up with people. Uh, we now have a class uh, president. I don't know if I would call him president. He's volunteered to act as the communication hub. 
If you're, if you have made friends with people here, uh, taken these lessons and in this class, then you should have some way to communicate them, ideally via Skype, and you play the question game. You're going to be asking questions where you have to respond properly to the questions that are posed to you. You have to identify the core, find the question, then ask the question. And the goal is to do it as fast as possible. You've seen the theatrical games uh, where you're always asking the questions. Have you seen that? See, I just asked a question. You're going to be playing the question game so that you can develop in your mind that you are the master and therefore you're the one who asks the questions. And a servant who comes up to you and starts making demands upon you and asking questions, well, if you're truly the master, you're going to be asking them, Hey pal, who the hell do you think you are? Now you have some very fun and very simple assignments this time. For this lesson, uh, I want you to play the question game. You should have been making friends by now using Skype. You should be in communication with people who are in the class. Certainly by the time uh, our class president, uh, um, Mike Friesen, gets in contact with you all, uh, you will have all that information so you can talk to people, share your Skype information. Uh, have some fun with this. Videotape it. And uh, you're going to have to end up probably giving that to Mike or maybe he'll appoint an assistant uh, who will be collecting all of this. All of these assignments, trust me on this, it's going to be in your benefit to save this video, take some pictures, uh, be prepared to make a little report. So videotape it. Do your question game with each other, videotape it. And the other thing I would like you to do is I want you to practice your ability to accept responsibility. Uh, essentially, if you see an old lady crossing the street, go help her. Do something where you are accepting. We live in a world where everyone seems to want to shift responsibility. Go out and do something completely opposite to that. Go accept responsibility where you are not expected to do so. You can also do this if you can't find an easy way to do that. One way you could do it is by... Uh, it's all the fault game, eh? The blame game. If there's somebody who has caused you fault, go forgive them. Accept responsibility for forgiveness. You can do that. Uh, and don't be surprised if when you do this, people look at you in a new light. You do it at work, you just might get a raise out of the deal. Certainly the universe will start to unfold in a manner where it will recognize that you do or you are capable of shouldering responsibility. So question game, have some fun with it. You just pick a question, make a fun question. Uh, you'll get points for creativeness of your question. If, if uh, we got 10, 10 or so groups together, groups of two or three, I guess you got to do it two at a time. Uh, but just have some fun, play the question game. And the goal is one person asks the other a question and you have to respond, give yourself a time frame. I'd say start at 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds to come up with another question and bring it down until you're responding five questions, three seconds, right off the bat. And have some fun with it. It's a, it's a good way to get to know people and uh, it's, it's good to have with three people because you might find you need someone else watching to catch you when you respond in, with an answer instead of a question because I've, I've done it before where when we look back we realize holy mackerel we were both making responses there and you get you, you get tripped into it and you don't even realize it so it's good to have a third party there watching you so question game videotape it go out and accept some responsibility don't be surprised if the magic starts unfolding with that one uh, bear in mind, you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you do me a good service if you rate it, comment, share, and favorite. Do all of those things. It doesn't hurt you. Click, click, click. Uh, if I'm breaking up these lessons, go back and do it to all of them. Specifically the first one. It's easy just to do it on the last one you're watching this. Go back to the first one and do all of that. Actually, do it to all of them. It helps me too. Your comments help me become a better teacher. It helps me to, uh, uh, I don't know. It helps me. Do it. 
those of you who wish, PayPal donations are graciously and gratefully accepted through MrMighty at Excite.com. Uh, you need a PayPal account, I guess. They're pretty cool. Pick one up, and uh, if you can afford it, if it's not going to take anything from your belly and you're appreciative of my efforts, feel free to make a, a small donation, Mr. Mighty. So rate, comment, share, and as always, have fun.